Hi, this is Chris, and I was going to give you a quick walkthrough on how to get going quickly with the Dungeon Kit uh, from Shroud of the Avatar. So, first thing you're going to want to do is go and do a import package custom package, which will pull it into the scene. Uh, it'll take a minute there as it pulls everything in. Uh, I'm just going to skip ahead a little bit here unless you guys really want to watch that stuff. Alright, so this is what it'll look like. Here's the dungeon kit. We've got one prefab that has all the other prefab objects underneath it. Uh, first thing to do is go turn on your auto grid snap. This is a script that is included in the package that will snap to grid sizes and you'll want to use 8, 5, 8 and then 90 for the rotate angle and that'll force it to snap to those uh, to 8 meter offsets which is the offset for all the tiles in this dungeon kit. Uh, each piece is set up on that. Uh, this is just showing off a few of the pieces here. Wherever possible we've minimized geometry. We have shared materials between all of them. Uh, we are not using a single atlas for all of them just because there was really just it's just too big of a set to get it all into one atlas. Uh, we did wherever possible try to keep batching in mind to make sure that we have a uh, small enough data set where things batch. So even the pieces that have multiple materials on them, like the one I have selected right now, uh, will actually be fine uh, in that they will batch with the other materials of the same type. This is just kind of walking around showing off some of the geometry. You can see that there's a full set here. Uh, I'm going to now go and build a quick little dungeon just to show you how easy it is with the auto snap tool. So you have to select any piece, make sure you get the parent object so you can keep all the spider webs and other things with it, and pop it into place. It will, you notice it pops in grid increments of 8 meters, so they just snap right together. There's none of this trying to line things up or get it exactly right. And with the auto grid snap tool, it actually goes really quick. Uh, the tile sets here should all snap together seamlessly no matter the angle. Uh, that's one of those uh, difficult things to do is getting a material that tiles at uh, all four angles which is really key for these things. You also notice these things get placed into position that when we rotate them they pop to 90 degrees. That's again the auto grid snap thing that's set to 90 degree angles. And you can see here's an example of showing off the smooth edge where you can't even tell where the edge is, turn it, and guess what? You can't even tell where the edge is. Uh, it's that type of stuff that makes this more of a professional kit that's just super easy to make quick content with, which of course is really what we're looking for, is just whatever we can do to make things go quicker. Uh, there's pieces included in this kit that allow you to make any size room through the walls, there's low doors, high doors, stairs up, there's wide hallways, there's narrow hallways, uh, stairs, ramps, pretty much everything you need to build any dungeon kit you want. Uh, I'm going to continue building out this little piece right here, just to show how quickly these things can go together. Uh, a single designer using this, Bill. Our dungeon master here on Shroud of the Avatar is actually, he's used these, uh, this dungeon kit to build a dungeon. He can actually put together a fairly large dungeon in less than a day's work. That's uh, the dungeon I'll be showing here in a few minutes. Is actually one that was kind of a one day project to see how much he can get done. But again, you can see how quickly these snap together using the tool. And these are all seamless. The edges are seamless. Walls are seamless. Uh, even with the lighting on them. Make it a four-way in here. And again, the four-way is just like the two-way I showed earlier. No matter what angle you rotate it at, you don't have to be careful to make sure it's the correct angle or always facing north or anything like that. Four-way rotating texture. Put in some hallways. Alright, I'll do just a little bit more and then I'm going to pop over and show you an actual dungeon created with this. Alright, here we go, into the dungeon. So 
so here's a dungeon we created for uh, to show off Shroud of the Avatar at a recent uh, a recent event. And this was a dungeon. Not all the pieces shown here are included. Obviously, you don't get the spiders. Uh, we will probably include more of these assets in future packs or as we update this pack. But uh, this is all of the walls, the columns, the nooks and crannies are all created with the dungeon kit. The stairs up. And again, this is all single pieces popped together that just seamlessly go together. And you can see there's different details in the roof and different details in the edges. And you can create some pretty sexy scenes like this one, for instance. I have like a, a boss mob here. Anyways, hope you enjoyed it.